under the covers with a flashlight on the down low. Those were the Chronicles of Narnia. So I'm a huge fan, and I can't wait for the latest installment to come out. Guys, check out the Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. Watch this. And who are you? Peter! Hi, King Peter. I believe you called. Please welcome all of the stars, Anna Pablo, William Mosley, and Ben Barnes. That's cozy. Well, it's the first time we've ever been on a couch all together as well. So. Is it? Mm -hmm. Well, on TV. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations on, on the film. No pressure here. The first one only made three quarters of a billion dollars worldwide. I mean, can you believe the success of the first one? I mean, I think we were all delighted by how the movie did. But, you know, we just go on set and try and make a good film and hope that people like the product. I think it's going to hit the mark, don't you guys? I think it's going to go over it. We'll certainly do our part. I was talking backstage with, with my friend Sean, and you guys actually knew each other before you even auditioned for this film, right? Yeah, um, Anna and I actually met each other at the very, very first auditioning process for The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which took 18 months. And we actually met each other at the first audition of that. So going wow. into the film, we were already quite close friends, and um, unfortunately, we aren't very, very close anymore. No, I that's have a restraining <laughs> order. With, you know. <laughs> Did you guys also try out for the Harry Potter films together? Um, Is that true? Or I, one of you? I had an audition for Hermione, but I think everyone in London had an audition I, for Hermione. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't audition for Hermione. No, you didn't. Although you would have been a very cute Hermione. Thank you very much. <laughs> you got the right hair. So, you're, you're, you're the new guy on the block. Yeah. I, how is it? Did you get razzed a lot on the set since everybody kind of already has this standing yes. relationship? <laughs> yes, a lot. I mean, they're very open and warm and welcoming, as I, you know, as I was kind of expecting from, you know, watching the DVD extras mm -hmm. on the first one and, you know, listening to Georgie go, oh, we're like a family and Will's like my big brother, and, <laughs> you know, listening to all that. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, I got razzed a lot. Every day. No, every day. Not every day. Every every day. Like we're, you know, serial bullies, but um, you know, we're, we're what, all good friends. Like what, you want to complain about any of it? No. Yeah. Come yeah. on. <laughs> That's Loved nice. That's minute. very nice of you. Every now, minute. do you feel a part of the family? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're going to keep all three of them here on the sofa, and we'll chat more about Narnia when we come back. Walt Disney Pictures and Walden Media invite you and your family on the journey of a lifetime. He's so cute. Who said that? <laughs> Prince Caspian is magical, fun, and wildly exciting. Even better than the first, it's a triumphant return to Narnia. It's Aslan! Oh, <laughs> perfect for all ages. Your entire family will never forget the pure movie magic of Prince Caspian. Walt Disney Pictures and Walden Media present Narnia. Rated PG. See it tomorrow. Edition. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people in the movie that you don't see, um, well, you don't see them as they normally are. I mean, there's some great voices. There's Eddie Izzard is in the movie, Liam Neeson. I am a huge Eddie Izzard fan, so I want to know from any of you guys, what is it like working with Eddie Izzard? Do you even get to work with him? Because he does all the voiceover. We didn't right? get to meet him at all. He, oh. was cast, he was actually cast, I think, after we finished shooting the film. Mm. And, and the lines that Rupert Cheap says in the script are entirely different to the ones that we saw. We only saw the movie, you know, yeah. relatively recently ourselves. And y y all the lines are obviously improvised, like, mm -hmm. but there's so many more laughs than I thought there were going to be. He's fantastic. Be fantastic. So it was really fun for you to see that. Because yeah. the movie unfolds. Doing a movie like this, the movie really does unfold for you guys, too, when you go to the premiere. Because there's so much CGI and... And there's the voiceover work of the other actors, so that's pretty cool, right? Yeah. It's well, fresh for you. You never know that you're going to be upstaged by a mouse when you're filming. <laughs> yeah. When you're shooting, you're only talking to a piece of wire like this with a little orange dot for an eye line to look at. 
And wow. you're, you're having a conversation with yeah, the people. Yeah, with so much wire. CGI. I mean, do you guys feel like you're getting to be old pros at it now, or? I, you know what's oh, funny? Well, you know. On the um, on the first one, we did a, a lot of CGI. There was talking beavers, as I'm sure everybody's yes, aware. Yes, yes, yes. And there were, you know, actually a, a lot of green screen shots. And in the second one. If they wanted a location, they would take us there. They would fly us in by helicopters into these wonderful places. Like one of them where I'm rowing a boat is this, uh, you could see 40 feet down into this river. And then um, actually it's, it's a more, much more of a human on this time, even though there is Reaper Cheap. So working with humans was actually kind of fun. <laughs> and I love this. you put me in the human category. <laughs> yes, exactly. He, <laughs> he put you in with the humans. That's yeah, exactly. just about. There's tons of swordplay too, which I love. Mm. And I used to chase around the house with, with my brother who's... It really wasn't fair because he's much smaller and much younger than me at the time. But did you guys enjoy that? Even you? Yeah, it's cool. I got to be part of the action. It was it's the fantastic. Only, uh, yeah, I was the only one on the battlefield in a skirt, but I made sure I was keeping up with everyone. And I think we all really enjoyed it, actually. It was really kind of relaxing to go to stunt training. and That's and relaxing? I mean, I always think of story plays being very vigorous and... No. I mean, it difficult. Take, takes a lot of energy, but it's kind of like a stress release. Yeah, it's very therapeutic, And it's actually. all very choreographed, like a dance, so you know exactly what's coming I'm not sure the stunt next. coordinator would like you to call his a uh, fight dance. I'm not calling, <laughs> him, I'm not calling him a ballerina. <laughs> yeah. He's really hard. He's really hard, yeah. Cool. yeah. The third installment begins when? That's a, really a question for Prince yeah, Caspian. Uh, I think we're going to start shooting the end of this year, October, November time. Mm. I think Mexico, maybe New Zealand again. Wow. So cool. It's I can't wait to see thrilling. that one. I yeah. love the guy. So, I thought this was especially generous of, of, of the kids. They brought, just in case you guys missed it and you're like the only hundred people on the planet that didn't see it, <laughs> everybody in the audience today, thanks to Walt Disney Pictures and Walt Media, are going to get a copy of the Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> 